depot. I'm trying to find a way to um, hinge my solar panel so that I can prop it up at an angle to the sun. Uh, it's spring now and it's the sun is still a little low. But hey, I used to be saying four months before I could move in full time and now it's only 20 days, 20 days before I can move in full time. I can hardly wait. So anyway, we're going to head into, wall, uh, into a Home Depot here and see if I can find some sort of hinges or clasps or something to uh, make it so that I can put my uh, solar panel up at an angle at different angles during the day. Okay, this is what I've done. I put a microwave in. I took out the old one from the that they put in from the factory and put a new one in. This is it here. Right now it's just stuck in there. There's nothing holding it in except the you know, friction of fitting tight. That should be okay. If I have to, I'll put a, uh, some brackets on there to hold it. But I think it's going to be okay. I could even put a couple of screws in from the top if I had to. But I think it's okay. So here's where I have the, uh, in, uh, the generator right between the two seats. I have to take it out when I want to turn this seat. I might turn this passenger seat around permanently and don't need any passengers in there and I got some uh, pillows like I said I made some pillows for the van for the bed and that should be good to go like I said 20 20 more days 20 28 more days or 21 more days and I'm gonna move in full time so I've got I've got to get things put in. I've got storage here. I've got to put in. I've got storage up and back in here. I've got to put some stuff in. All my toiletries. Uh, there's the toilet. I don't have. I still got it winterized. I don't have anything set up. No pumps are on. No nothing. I mean, uh, no water in the in the tanks. So just got to go find a few more. Um, boxes to put in here and I have some uh, I have some boxes to put in here plastic containers to put up in here instead of just piling it up in there uh, checking out the old inverter or the uh, controller here it looks like I'm still drawing 0.8 amps from the Sun it's up to 13.2 volts Right back up to par. Looks like it's my uh, solar panel's working fine. Uh, after I run the microwave for a few few seconds, there it it kicked right in. So it's not enough to keep it um, charged up. It comes down quite a bit because well, the microwave is uh, 700 watts, and I have a 1,000 watt inverter in here, and a 3,000 watt in uh, uh, generator so I should have enough power to keep things running I know you can't hear justice over the uh, GoPro camera but uh, this is my new Bose mini speaker sounds beautiful nice you can, you can see the size <laughs> not very big at all Heavy bass sounds nice. Let's see if we can put something else on here. Mondays. Mondays, non copyrighted. theme music to my uh, intro and extra outro intro <laughs> intro and outro
I wish you could hear the sound coming out of this thing. It's just fantastic. Anyway, if anybody knows, I have a Bluetooth stereo right here. Now, if there's, I don't know the right terminology, but um, I like to think of it as uh, Bluetooth in and Bluetooth out. So the, the uh, stereo has Bluetooth in, but not out. So in other words, I can't play this Bluetooth speaker on my Bluetooth um, stereo because the stereo is only out, not in. Or it's only in, not out, sorry. Um, I can play another, I can play my phone, my, my smartphone over the Bluetooth radio because it'll pick up my phone. But the speaker, in my opinion, is uh, as, as is an output. I mean, oh, Jesus, it's uh, an input. So you need something that's going to output Bluetooth in order for the speaker to pick it up. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get it so that I can play my stereo and hear it on my little uh, uh, Bose mini speaker. If anybody knows how to connect that up or how to hook it up, do I need some other adapters or do I need something else to hook it up? I can't get it to go anyway. <clears throat> All right, guys, I need to go out and do some drone flying. I need to get my drone fixed for the, for the week here. So I think I've got everything. I got to head out to the uh, van or the RV uh, store. I want to check out a few things and see if I can get a bicycle uh, rack for the um, if it's hang my bicycle on the ladder on the back and a couple other things I got to look at too. So let's head out to the uh, RV place, maybe pick up some lunch on the way. And what I'd like to do here too is set up my dash cam. got the mount in there and the wires hanging there I just haven't run the wires yet uh, I haven't even got around to that and I had generator here sitting here between the seats I'd like to actually put some gasoline in it it hasn't even fired it up yet so I'd like to put some gasoline in it and uh, let it run its uh, break-in time it's like I don't know half an hour an hour to run it just to break it in get everything um, loosened up so I haven't done that yet. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know, tonight, today. I got too many things on the go here. So, and I've only got 20 some days left. So um, I've got to do something. Anyway, I'm off to get some food. My daily, or at least my weekly, fill of drone flying. So I'm out here again at the same spot. That circular uh, roadway here. And... Uh, I think I'm going to take the drone up and over to the mall.